What's up, everybody? Bike Builder Bear in the house. Christmas season is here. Um, I am basically just doing this short video to um, describe the re my immediate results um, from the research and development of the clutch uh, fix that I have developed for the BD-125 or pretty much all of the similar 125 clones, um, the shifting issues, clutch issues, and also to share a little trick if you have the uh, Makuni um, VM22 carburetor. Um, I shot some of this footage earlier before I took off, changed my clothes and took off for the ride. So you'll notice uh, that some of the footage is from earlier than right now. Um, but uh, back to uh, the clutch plate fix and the, the clutch um, the clutch cable stirrup relocation. It works really good so far. I rode um, all the way. I did the Ojai Loop, which is almost about 80 miles of riding. Um, up hills, really good elevation change, and um, good chance to you know uh, try try the clutch performance on grades and downhills. Plenty of shifting opportunities, all of that stuff, and it seemed to do really well. I think I have found the sweet spot on the clutch cable adjustment and the way that it works um, is unparalleled. Um, I'm still going to develop it a little more. Me and two of my buddies are working on actually um, making a machined aluminum version, which would be uh, more clean and aesthetically good looking and would be able to anodize them. Um, but seriously, uh, might be making these parts and selling them. Um, already working on um, doing a broke man's patent. Um, this information, these videos, uh, basically when I'm done here today are going to be put in, on a SIM card and then I'm going to be mailing it to myself. So it's going to post date this information and this stuff. So if you want to steal my design and try to sell them, go ahead, but I'll probably sue you in civil court and take all the money you made from it because it's not that hard to do a broke man's patent and um, keep the design myself I mean but if you want to make this yourself and fix your bike yourself feel free that's what most of my videos are here for is to share information you know but I do have to say nobody's making none of this stuff nobody's making this part Nobody, I have been researching and nobody has a clutch fix. The only thing I've heard is the one finger clutch lever to where you get a little more pull and trying to adjust the, you know, the clutch correctly. If there's other fixes out there, please leave some comments below. You know, I'd like to hear about them. But as in a quick fix where I didn't have to open any cases, I didn't have to replace any clutch plates, nothing like that. Literally all I had to do was reposition the cable and reposition the point on the actuation arm that the cable was pulling. Simple geometry. So if you want to build it yourself, feel free. If you're going to try to, um, you know, steal my design, I, I expect probably by the end of this year, China will be making a piece that is my vision of what I would like to be the final product, which is made out of aluminum. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how things go because like I said, I got two buddies one that has um, uh, Resources for machining and all that and another that's actually um, Right now he's actually at home prepping his 3d printing program to make a plastic um, uh, uh, What's it called a uh, plastic jig basically a mock-up of what we would want the aluminum version machine version to look like because we might be able to get these, uh, get a couple of hundred of them actually made and start selling them on eBay. Um, now that being said, um, like I like I said, it 
it's parallel I um, in comparison to the way the bike comes um, I'm not getting any clutch slippage I can get through all the gears I can select neutral coming to a stop like beautifully so um, that is what I have to say for now um, I'm still gonna ride this handmade steel made um, piece around I'm gonna see how strong if there's any I'm gonna try to beat it up and and not treat it nicely to see if there's any flaws in the design I think I made a pretty good design I'm pretty good at coming up with MacGyver stuff like that so um, pretty soon hopefully we'll uh, be either selling the first version which will be steel handmade by me just like the one that's on here and then um, shortly after that I'll be trying to sell a CNC aluminum version because it doesn't need to be steel it doesn't need to be super strong so um, and for the um, quick uh, carburetor idle screw adjustment tip um, I'm going to go ahead and throw that footage on right now. Just came up with a DIY for an issue I have with the Makuni VM22 carburetor. When I have it on my bike, or on my bike the way it's positioned, it's a pain in the butt to get to the air idle screw. So let me show you my little idea to being able to adjust it on the fly. Unfortunately, I'm not an octopus, so I had to do this and then make the video. I don't have enough hands to solder this little intricate um, idea and then film. So, and I didn't think to go grab my tripod or anything, but basically heat up your air idle screw with a, with a map gas torch. Put a nice fat dab of um, resin core. Um, solder on there nice big fat one and then do the same thing with the wire put a nice big glob and then heat them both up real quick because the brass will hold its its heat and you know um solder them together just hold it until it cools and you get a nice little little um adjustment wire this basically came off you know it's an idea that i got i stole it from uh, what I got going on my Harley with my uh, Makuni carburetor on my Harley. My Harley has an easy adjustment that goes to the air idle screw. So I just made a rinky dink version of that. And here, let's uh, get this to focus up a little bit. And then look, now I get to put this bad boy in like this. And I'm going to put some uh, uh, thread compound on this. So this, and you want to use thread compound, not Loctite or anything like that. Thread compound, you see now, I'll just have this little bad boy sitting off here. And when I need to do an adjustment, I could just grab that, that end. And that's actually just a, a, a cheap bicycle brake cable wire that I had sitting in my backyard with a bunch of my little scrap and junk that I nipped off. See from the other side. And of course, I still got to bolt the carburetor on correctly. I got to clean the threads on this real quick because it still has solder and stuff. It won't fit up into the hole correctly until I clean it up. But I should be able to turn that little head and adjust my idle on the fly while I'm out on the road. Just a little DIY. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Please like. Please subscribe. God bless. Have a good day.